Today we're going to recommend our five favorite Azuki bean dessert recipes. Hello and welcome to our channel. The goal of our channel is to explore the science behind plant foods and how different compounds in plant foods can help to prevent cancer and to have a positive effect on aging. We are not all destined to be unhealthy and the foods that we choose can make a real difference. Azuki beans are super healthy, rich in nutrients such as fiber, protein, and manganese. They are linked to a number of health benefits including weight loss, improved digestion, a lower risk of type 2 diabetes, and lower risk of heart disease. We also have made a video on how itsuki beans could help to prevent cancer. In Asian traditional cooking, bean desserts are common and it's a great way to incorporate more beans into our diet. The first recipe that I'd like to recommend is by Hey Nutrition Lady and it's these delicious itsuki bean brownies. They are sweetened with dates and has this great fudgy satisfying texture. They're pretty easy to make and I combine the ingredients in a food processor. They're baked for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees in the oven. I'll post a link to the full recipe in the video description. The second on our list are these very yummy, healthy Azuki Vegan Chocolate Bites. They are gluten-free and uses medjool dates for sugar. They also use pecans and rice milk and these are so good that people won't even know that they're made from beans. The Azuki really just adds a nice creamy texture to them. And what you really taste is the chocolate and the nuts. I'll be sure to include a link to the full recipe in the video description. Third on our list is this very traditional Chinese dessert. It's a sweet red bean soup often served after large banquets and after a very big and decadent meal. Note that the beans will need to be soaked for at least eight hours, so overnight works as well. Then simmer the beans for about an hour on low heat. When the beans look soft and broken down, use an immersion blender to blend until the beans are just broken up. They shouldn't be completely smooth. Tapioca is also added to this recipe at the end and cooked for about 20 minutes until they become translucent. Again, I'll be sure to post the link to the full recipe in the walks of life in our video description. Next is this very delicious frozen Itsuki bean popsicle. They only take four ingredients, no artificial ingredients or fillers, and they are so simple they can be thrown together in just a few minutes. The recipe recommends only blending one third of the red bean paste with the coconut milk. The rest is mixed in to give the popsicle their signature texture. Last but not least is this wonderful red bean mochi by Oh My Food Recipes. For this recipe, our Instapot was really useful. Here are the basic ingredients and the full instructions are needed for this recipe. The Oh My Food Recipes website has photos of each of the stages and these turned out really well. We'll of course post the link in the video description. I hope you're able to try some of these healthy dessert ideas. We are always on the lookout for more, so if you have a suggestion that wasn't included, please post in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you're interested in more information about the science behind plant foods. Thank you.